ました。And we're back. And look at this. We don't have Vicky taking over the show today. We have Adam. I am Vicky. <laughs> you are Vicky? Um, you okay. Know, yeah. Yeah, I was there, but I was I had different um visual uh, different um, Attra 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 physical Attra appearance. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, yes. gotcha. Okay. Yes, because I change sometimes, you know. Okay. It's good to know. Yeah. Good to know okay. that you change well, sometimes. Yeah. Well, Vicky, and I hope I'm great. me today because uh um uh, Sometimes somebody comes into me and uses my name, my face, and everything. Wow. Well, you are you today because we only deal with you. So we know oh, we, that we have well, the Well, right we don't Adam know that. Show. We don't know that, of course. It may not be Adam. I mean, how do we know it is him? Gonna, yeah, I don't know prove? either. I don't know myself. Yeah. So, so, so. Yeah. And how, how, so how can, can you know you when, when you don't know what you are you? What you are. Wow. That is prolific. How can you, yeah, how can you know that it's you? Yeah. Yeah, well, Today I had a very asking... profound walking with my dog because right. you know I, I guess guys have been missing my philosophy. So I'm pretty sure about it. You too. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So since we all so, we so often sorry, talk so the, the dog the dog has been missing your philosophy. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Oh, God. The dog the, the dog is my philosophy. Is my inspiration. Ah, so she okay. doesn't ah, miss me. Okay. This is ah, the, okay, the, right. the living being that sees me the most. And uh, okay. because she's uh, she's a guardian of me, she's a white angel, you know. She, she's oh, she's a guardian. a guardian of Adam, and we're not quite sure who you are. Yeah, but we don't know yeah. who is in Adam. So wait a minute, if I may, what was this prolific thought that you had while you yes, were yes? Do you remember that we often talk about death and stuff like this? I just <laughs> was walking because today it's a little better day. The weekend was a little uh, bad weather. A lot of uh, there was some raining at last, and some winds. And I was walking there, totally empty beach with right. sunshine and very nice. And uh, I was thinking about death again, because I often think about it. And I was thinking that death is an exchange. It's a very big exchange. You exchange you, yourself, or the notion of you, which we don't know what it is, <laughs> but we very, very much cling into it. We stick to it very much, to the every experience that was ever experience that whatever happened you exchange this right because when you you are not you anymore you're free of you which is i really tell you it must be the probably the most hard thing to do to leave you yourself the, the this 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 illusion of you, of yourself but exchange it to every kind of experience that was ever that ever happened Every like experience of your grandmother, grandfather, grand, 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 every animal, every, and not only on this planet. This is what, this is what came to me, and it. I don't have any proof. No, I am not any kind of. Uh, actually, I'm not even a philosopher. I'm an artist. Yes, you are. You're an artist philosopher. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know if you. I don't know if you realize that. On my other interview, I was saying that I am not a, I am an artist, but it's not my main occupation, but philosophy is. Right. But uh, yeah, it's true in one way. But on the other hand, because you know we artists, we often say things just to uh, be liked by uh, people who will buy our arts or in right. general will bring Ooh. us fame and stuff. That's um, why That's why we... That's a we, shocking statement to make. Shocking statement. Yeah, but it, by that. we do it. We have to live. You, you know, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's, um, it's a matter of, of uh, survival for us. Right. So it's not only a matter of survival. Uh, it's also because uh, being an artist, you want to be famous. Right. It's it's kind of a need, you know. Of course, it's also practical because if you're famous, you're selling better, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Or if you if you care for those, but not that much, it's not your main objective. Like for me, I I, I would say, uh, you want to transmit things that you know. For example, how can I visualize what I just said to you? Well, I have to do it then, right? Because I just said something, and it might sound stupid. It might, but for me, it's an intuition. It's a feeling. Uh, words are, are are a very poor way of communication. It's the best we have. I mean, right. 
but it's it's very poor because uh, words what some word mean to, let, let's take the word love do you think everybody has the same notion of the word the word love no. no just like nobody has the same definition of the word hate or dislike exactly. or, or or art know. which is the right, best the, art, the first the first question that yeah. that journalists or people who interview should ask an, an artist what is the definition of art for you what is art yeah. and you, well, will, you you understand many things immediately yeah. well it's kind of like i forgot who they asked the definition of obscene in a, a famous court trial and i can't remember the trial but the guy said he says i know when i see it so what's obscene to one is not obscene to the next exactly right? so it's the same thing so yeah so the, everything but has, this a, is, has this many is, meanings this is, this is how the universe works it wants yeah. different point of view different opinion different everything different it's all those experiences right. that will, we will become them when we die that's what so I that's think. the app that goes back to the absolute Everybody yeah, because back we, to the yeah, absolute. that's the absolute. But we have no idea right. of the absolute. We just—it's another but world. It, it's another world. But of all this, another, all this philosophizing, philosophizing. Wow. Yes, yeah, philosophizing. Yes, yeah. yes. I think. Yeah. Uh, over, over, over death. Is that does is that making you happy or sad or? No, no. It's, or? it's, it's not. Uh, it's not about happy or not happy. It's a destination. You cannot avoid your uh, yeah. path in your in the way. No, no, no I appreciate so, that. So something wants me to think about it. Why? I don't know. Maybe help other people because you know that this is our major and the primal fear. Everything right. that we do is based on this, even if we don't admit it, even if it's not really, um, it's existential. I think that we do art because of that. This is one because of the main be, reasons. You want to be that memorial we... because you want to be memorialized. No, no, death? it's existential. We want to understand what. This okay. is life, right? And by default, when you are trying to find out what life is, what is absent of life? Because this is death, actually. Yeah. Because death is, mm -hmm. as we said, is a part of 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 life. Of life, it's still life. But I, I did realize like, uh, yeah. quite a way, uh, quite a few months into doing this, that the actually making these shows and talking to people like yourself is that you've actually helped to make me immortal. <laughs> In what way? Because I'm an artist. Well. Be no yeah because because you know this this has been put now into digital concrete and then there's 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 a major solar flare and wipes everything out you know when i when i'm just literally you know in a pot somewhere on a mantelpiece then um yeah this people will be will be enjoying my immortality by rerunning these shows well, immortality, rerunning look, me talking to you 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 are immo a part of you the one, the one part that is using you, when we are talking before about who is you, what is you, the, the identity issue, right. is immortal. I mean, your body, what you say, and David and Adam and Stephen, those narratives that we are using, those are not immortal because those are material. Right. Material is dying. This is, it's not dying, it's, it's changing all the time. Right. But there is a fundamental thing that is in you, in me, in Stephen, in everybody, which we, we, we cannot actually understand and perceive it, you know, in a, in a very simple way, because, because I don't know why, because maybe nature wants me, maybe we are not advanced yet, because we're not advanced. We can see it all around. If we were advanced, we will take care of very simple things like our nature more or be more kind to to ourselves yeah. or we will stop wars we will stop uh, uh, greed we will stop uh, the, the world we will, would be a wonderful place still with problems still with death still with missing yeah. people who are dying or, or or hurt or pain or suffering suffering is an is a, is a essential element to living to life essential yeah. imagine life without suffering Utopia. Everybody happy. Can you yeah. can you imagine that? Everybody yes. happy? It doesn't it, <laughs> yes. it doesn't exist. It would be it nice. It doesn't to... exist. To be happy, you have to suffer sometimes, you know. I so know. are you is is your suffering reflected in your art then? Yeah, of course. It has to. It's probably also one of the reasons that I do because I, I get comfort there. I, I when I when um I was talking but about does, this, your, does the suffering in your art do you put Okay, so you get comfort in the suffering of your art, but if I see your art, do I see the comfort uh, uh, this from is, that this art is or the suffering? This is something that I cannot uh, answer, actually. 
because I tell you that it's, it's, it's also connected with what I said, that me, what is actually me? You mm. will see things of my experience, like my experience is there, but there might be so much cover that I might not even recognize them. That's why sometimes when I go back to some works, I say, oh, I remember this work because it reminds me this period of my life then. But some others, I don't. That means that it was more, more of experimenting. You know, I, I did it not so much to express myself, to express what I feel, think, um, realize, experience, but more to find a way. It's, it's like, a, it's like a paving way to another artwork that will come and will be more to the point. Not every artwork is successful, you know? But yeah, every artwork has a, has a, has a, has its own uh, purpose. Right. It's Sometimes... interesting that you say that because on the run into the show uh, before we came live, I said to you first of all about uh, we we shoot two of your pieces of work last week, which I referred to as sad one and sad two, and you said no, they're they're called sad eye and sad, and sad eyes. eyes. Yeah, yeah, but okay. And 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 so so for all the people who who were interested in that, go back and watch last week's show. Uh, yes. uh, but when I said, "Well, do we, do you want to run them again today?" I said, "You can talk about them." And in a, in the nicest, kindest way as you normally are, you said, "No, I don't want to go." No, it's gone. It's finished. Show something else. And I'm so yeah, I, yeah. I was quite. I have so I was, many ideas. I was slightly. I was taken aback a bit by that. I thought it didn't offend me, but but you were so, you know, you were so so no, as, as if it's as if it's gone of of no not of mm -hmm. no relevance anymore. Yeah, no, well. I will see later. You know, maybe, maybe they there, but no, no, they are not the thing that. Uh, not every artwork represents me, or at least I feel represents me, or at least holds uh, the divine essence that I want to transmit. But there are works. There are a lot of works that I have. Maybe one. Maybe okay. next time, because we always what we do. We mainly uh, show new works. Like today, we will show one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We show yeah. new works, new experiments, new findings. Maybe I'll make a collection like of five, six works. Maybe we'll do next because there are a lot of them that I will, from my point of view, and through time now, I would say that they represent me or represent a period in my time which was essential. Cool. And in, in general, my works are not. I see, I see a period of time in my works, but what they're talking about is something more deeper and more fundamental. This is, this is coming back to philosophy. Why mm -hmm. I'm interested in, in philosophy? Because uh, it's, it's, the, it's the important, if you, if you ask yourself, okay, I'm here, I'm here in this world. It's a strange world. I don't know. They say I'm going to die. I don't feel I'm going to die. I feel like I'm going to be immortal like, like this. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you ask yourself, okay, what is important and you say yes but my 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 family my friends my wife my children so this is important is it something more important than that yes the life itself or existence itself which they have you have and if somebody dies close to you then you realize that more right. that oh life is gone so what is the es essence of the life that is gone what is behind it or in front of it or in it? I don't know. Those are the questions that I said that this is, th those are the questions important to me. And in art, I will try to transmit, transmit this, my, um, my thinking, my, my, my research, actually it's any research mm -hmm. about this, but in a, in a very, you know, because art is a very sophisticated human expression. A universal pattern, as I say, it's also it's also nice finding this that uh, it's it's I've I've reached this conclusion that that there is a triangle, the whole triangle. I don't know if I said it, but if I said it, I will say it again and again and again because I'm totally sure our lives are based in in this triangle. It's philosophy, science, and art. Philosophy it's it's dealing with what something is, meaning yes. Uh, science is how it works, how universe works, so that we have those great tools like the internet, microphone, everything that we can speak right now and everything. 
and, and the art, which is the expression of the self, of the subjective, which become, becomes uh, objective. And I, I came, uh, lately I'm thinking a lot, I'm coming to nice conclusions, I like them. And uh, I wrote this on, on Twitter, and I think it's to the point. Art is not about objective or subjective, because there are a lot of artists, especially young artists, and I want to tell this to young artists, that it's subjectivity. Art is subjectivity. A subjectivity. Well, it's not, because if it were only subjectivity, there wouldn't be any art academies. What would they teach you there? Being yourself? No. That means that there are some things that are objective there. The, so I believe that art is not about objectivity or subjectivity. It's the bridge between them. It's, it's the thing that bridges subjectivity and objectivity. That means what you have inside and you get it out and be, becomes objective. So maybe we have some kind of common ground there altogether. Because if it were only subjectivity, who, who, who would fucking care who I, what I experience? But if I make my experience, look, guys, I have pain. Oh, somebody else, I have pain also. What kind of pain do you have? And is there a reason for this pain? For, and I'm, I'm telling you, no, like super stupid uh, a sentence about this. So I think this conclusion is quite good that it's a bridge between objectivity and subjectivity. Like life itself is a bridge. Although I believe everything is right. mental, for those who don't believe it, there is clearly mental stuff like our thoughts. This is mental, right. you cannot touch it, right? Your dreams, can you touch your dreams? Can you make something wrong? But you have your body also. You, we know exists, this thing exists. I can touch it. Right, right. It cannot be, okay, it, it, it's, it's some information in my brain which transmit and translates everything into uh, I'm touching this and that. But it's an objective uh, experience. If you touch it, you will have probably the same thing. I say probably because I'm not into you and you're right. not into me. This is the crazy thing about the, the game of life. So it's a so life itself it's a bridge and art it's a bridge between objective uh, subjective um, mental and uh, material although i believe that uh, material is a representation of a mental state hmm. okay we can go <laughs> that's no no i like it but it's goes go we we spoke about this thing called the absolute which yeah. is the disposal in the this beginning is, of this everything is a question. This is a big question right, the, what the absolute really wants. Right, but the absolute but is. is from the CIA's paper called The Gateway Project, right, where they went and they went into multi-dimensionals and they had these people in the 80s go do this stuff. It was written by a general or a colonel. So it's fascinating because the absolute says, which you're saying, we're all energy. And what ends up happening is, is that when you're done here doing this, you go back to the absolute. And then, if you will, you get reassigned. But everything you learn goes to the absolute for like knowledge for everybody to be passed through. Exactly. So I find Every that experience. Right. Yeah, everything, but everything is recorded. But, I believe everything is recorded. Yeah. Why? Because it's reco why? Sorry? Why, do why? We, why do we want to believe why do we want to believe that? Does that give us some sort of some sort of comfort that well, there's life it, after it's this? It's no different than you physical. believing that you're going to go to a fake place called heaven because you're a Church of England. I guess it's you know the absolute well, I, least, I, I, you know. You know. Look, I mean uh, <laughs> This, they told me that as a child, Stephen. You know that we've had this discussion before, so <laughs> we'll put that to one side. But um, yeah, I mean, what is it? What is it that we have this desire as 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 as, as shaved monkeys to think that right. we're going to go that anything else is ever going to happen or be experienced after we physically fall apart and die? I mean, well, what, I think is that is that, out, many... is that out of hope? Is that no. arrogance? No, I think you there's know? too many things that are unexplained. So. That you can't explain like they did a report yeah. or like let's say a ghost but is, or that, let's say, is that important but, but, though is but it, it, it is and it isn't because it gives people a peace of mind there was a thing that 60 minutes did it has to be now 30 or 40 years ago and they talked about death you know near-death experiences or when you die what happens and there was several people that they interviewed that they just they died and then they came back but what was fascinating to me was it was like yeah yeah great you saw light you saw whatever whatever but what I thought was fascinating, this one lady said, she was at the, in the operating room when she died and they revived her. And the operating room, let's say, is on the third floor. What was fascinating to me is she told them everything that was going on on the sixth floor when she died. So I think there's something there 
but we since we don't know what it is, or you get a kid that you know, he's six years old, speaks fluent, pick a language. There was a kid that was six years old, he spoke fluent German. He was from London. And they were like, oh, there was another kid that said, I was in the war of World War One, and kept telling these stories. So his parents finally took him to wherever. He knocked on a door and he was, he knew everything about the house, the people. So there's something there. We don't know what it is. And right. that, if you will, to Adam's that. point and to what you're also saying, I think is the great mystery of life. We don't know what's there, but there's too many uh, cases that have been documented that there's something more like that, so we don't know. It, it sounds more like the, the, the great the great hope in life. You know, this is... This but if is, it's because, documented, if, is it a great if, hope? If, if people just realized, and I'm not, I'm, I'm just having, I'm putting forward a point of view I don't necessarily sure. hold that point of view myself. I do it for for the discussion of the people who are listening and watching. Yeah, but if yeah, there yeah. is we're absolutely if there is absolutely nothing after this, yeah, that's not the sort of that's not the sort of thing that people want to hear. They want to have this sort of that, look. You know, I will give you I will counter argument. Which is more comforting, you living, suffering, dying, and again living, suffering, dying. I, I mean, non-stop, or just dying, and that's it. I think dying, and that's it. That's the more comforting. That every mm. pain, suffering is going to end with your death. Well, I don't think so. That's the point. Right. So you and think I don't know which is more is comforting? The... I think that yeah. that the Western what, Western re uh, reincarnation. Then you, that you come back into the uh, dead not life. not not the exactly. Right? Well, some some some. Uh, uh, um, uh, religions believe in that. Right. I believe, on the other hand, that uh, uh, we are we are we have inside us this consciousness, which is the piece. I've said it before many times that is constantly coming and going, come, using our bodies. It's actually using you. It's like nature is using you. That's why that's why I say we don't have a free will. Also, because it's right. determined. We just cannot. It's too much too much data to pr to predict anything too much data there's no computer and not ever a computer will be ever able to to predict actually the future i mean to the every uh, level right because right. we can predict things with science as i said in the triangle we have managed to to go to the moon and beyond etc and we will go even f further if uh, we don't uh, destroy ourselves but uh, but somewhere else they, they are uh, traveling somewhere uh, you know i'm pretty sure about it so I tell you, I, it's more comforting to believe, and, and the West society is believing actually this, that life, it's this. I am here, I will drink, eat, fuck, uh, dance, right. and then I die in quiet, that's it. Nice, right. perfect. It's just a moment of dying, probably, it's uncomfort, it's unsettling, which it is, yes, it is. Well, I think it's the way you go. I mean, if you die in your sleep, you won't really know. If you're dying over a terminal illness... That's a little different. If you die, God forbid, in a plane or accident or train or something like that, or you get hit by something, that's a little different. I always, that, the joke that always really, is. I, I, I don't think really matters. Well, it yeah. matters, you know, in the, from the point of view of, of suffering. That's right, why right. why we uh, we see no, somebody. I think it matters. It matters in the point of view of survival. If you survive that moment, that's when you have all the pain. If you don't survive it, you're gone. You're dead anyway. So. Well, listen, I've been close to right. death several times, and I will tell you that it's very, it's an interesting experience. When I got blown up when I was, you know, a child, so to speak, back in 1976, I think it was 14 or 15, I got blown up, third and fourth degree burns. I didn't know there were third and fourth. Wow. I knew there was third, I didn't know about four, five, and six, but I had fourth degree and 48% of my body. Let me tell you something, when you're close to death and you're like a kid, it's a, you have a whole different perspective and outlook on life than most people. Cause most people aren't, don't get close to death. You know, they may be like, Oh, this happened. That's not close. But when you're blown up physically and literally that's different. Granted the girl was into blow torches and we should have known better. But anyway, um, the point is, is that it's just a different mentality you have on life. So you live life to its fullest every day and not waste any time with anything. So whether there's something or not something after this, to David's point earlier, yes, the our our two OF entertainment channel is making us immortal and a hundred years, two hundred or three hundred or ten thousand years from now, someone's gonna watch this interview and go, these were hip guys. 
or these guys were clueless, right? So it's just interesting that we have this, that in theory, the 12 trillion YouTube things that are out there right now makes everybody now immortal. So if you want to be immortal, it's not that hard. We're back 50 years ago. You couldn't be. You take a picture and your family has to hold on to that picture. So it's very different. You as an yeah, artist, well, there, though, is different. There, there was a lot of artists. There was also a lot of um, uh, writers who, who mm -hmm. that was their aim to, to yeah. achieve immortality by producing a piece of art or writing a piece of literature that, that would that would be kept, that would be looked at by other people. That was the, the, soul, the, the thing that drove them on in their artistry. But, but but in both cases, even if right. there is something after the or there is so that, that if there is something that we are talking about something deeper, right, or yeah. if there is not, uh, it's what you just said. We are still mm -hmm. looking for meaning. Yeah. You see, because uh, otherwise it's totally meaningless. Yeah. So why we don't does just it, what, does it have to have now a and that's it. Why and, does it have to have a meaning? Why does it have to have what? a meaning? Why does everything, everything have to have a label? Why? Does it? Why? It's, it's can not, you not it's just? Not that it can has you not to, just go with the flow? Can you not no. just go with the flow and enjoy the moment when I go for my yeah. walks in the morning? I just, I, I, it doesn't have a meaning. Well, if you if you go with the flow, that's the meaning. You go that's with the flow. You, yeah, that's yeah, the meaning. But your walks still in, you your walk for meaning. Right, it's, but your walks in the it's morning. It's not our choice to find to to look for the meaning. I also think that it's not our choice to find deeper things as humans. It's not our choice. I tell you, most of our things is not our choice. There is no I. There is no me. We are obeying nature's flow. That's what but we're doing. But your walk, though, in the morning, there's a purpose. The purpose is to get exercise, right? So you're not technically going with the flow. You can enjoy the moment. Like when I take my dog for a walk, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not many thinking about happen. anything other than many, many the moment. things happen. If right. we were able, actually, to realize what is really happening now in front of us or on the beach, I mean... From all the energy, the molecules, the atoms, the electrons, the, the, uh, the uh, quantum entanglement that happens, everything that happens that we even have not found yet because we're not so advanced, we'll go crazy. That's why our mind is, you know, educated, you know, uh, through time, through these millions of years, so that it perceives things that are actually enough for survival, first of all. But if you have covered this, then uh, you can start thinking about other things like this. Okay, I have to where to sleep. I have food. I have water. What now? Mm -hmm. And then you say, what is this for? Why was it created? I know that your question is valid also. Why there has to be why? It doesn't have to be. There are people living without any whys. Just, just live. More, most of them. Most of them just living by, going to work, and they say, "What the fuck is guys talking about death?" And I'm dying every day, like going to work and uh, <laughs> uh, feeding my ki my children. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Death. That's true. Yeah, I will die and I will find peace. That's what I want. You know, life can be very boring, very annoying, very frustrating, but it's really, really beautiful. I mean, all those things. Uh, they're, they're not only those. It's a it's a prism of all the colors that that can be right why we can see only this part of the of the spectrum and not all the spectrum you know the eyes can see only visible visible light there are other colors we cannot see there are waves because the overlords that live on the moon won't let us go see only no, there are see animals what we can which see. see more colors there are right or, or, or animals less. which which live in a totally different way it's totally different yeah. experience why uh, uh, life has evolved in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the dolphin, for example, or the, the octopus, they're totally different animals. The, the mm -hmm. octopus has, has minds in his, uh, uh, how they are called? Tentacles. The, the, tentacles. Yes, the tentacles. The tentacles. Yeah. There, there are minds there. Yeah. They have minds. Yeah. The, ones that you, the ones that the, the Greeks love to eat, you mean, those sort of tentacles. Yeah, They're but probably, since after yeah. after I saw Netflix this documentary about the octopus, I don't eat them. Um, I, they're very it's intelligent. A, it's a, very very intelligent. Yeah. Very intelligent. They're very intelligent. Like like I tell you, we were talking about dogs. Like and we also say like Donald Trump is saying he died like a dog. Right. You said that like, and it it's 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 positioning dog as something very low. You know that. But I have a dog, 
And it's a beautiful creature. It's full of emotions. Mm -hmm. yeah. it, it, it's got its weaknesses. My, my dog, for example, is very selfish. She, uh, she wants me for herself only. Oh. Not, when, when I kiss with my girlfriend, she comes and she's jealous and she starts making noises. Come and, you know, she does yeah. this thing, yeah. uh, like, which is oh, I think an expression thing. of this. You are mine. We have the same thing in our house with the cat. Uh, and yeah. I sit on the couch. The cat will sit between us because it's her cat. Because her it cat. wants you for herself, and also mm -hmm. everybody. It's yeah. egoism. Also, I want, I want, but it's also part of the survival thing. Right. And and also, look, we cannot avoid the wise. We cannot. It's just our nature, and we uh, we are the only ones who actually do it. I don't see any other animal doing why, why, why. We are only doing it. So we're we don't know that. We don't know that because we can't talk to them. We're not Doctor Doolittle. No, right? You are I right. can't ask my yeah, dog. Yeah, we, I can't the, ask my dog is, why, why, why. The maybe, octopus maybe some are level probably saying to themselves, you know, why, why, why do they keep eating it? Yeah. yeah. Well, That's, I don't know. Uh, don't know it do doesn't we? look like they are thinking this way. They are just trying to, uh, to you know, by nature, trying to avoid you because of their fear. I know. I know. Touching on our favorite, uh, one of our favorite subjects, we always come back to AI. I know there's some people researching uh, animal communication, and I don't think it's. Right. I think maybe in the next five years or so, they'll actually be able to have uh, a reasonable, a reasonable, an educated assumption of what's being said between animals. Because uh, things are, you know, noise. So Let me ask you this question. If you can talk to your dog or your cat, does that make it less special? Because my mom used to say when she was alive, she'd be like, I would love to know what they're saying. And I thought about that. And I'm like, you know, I think the reason I love my dog is because when it makes its face or does its little barking, I don't know what it's saying. I don't know if I really want to know what my dog is saying. My dog may be saying, listen, shut the fuck up. I don't want to get up at six o'clock in the morning when yeah. you go for your yeah. run. That's I don't exactly what it's saying. Right, probably, yeah. and it's like maybe maybe I don't really want to know what it's saying. Now, if I go to the zoo and the lion yeah. roars, maybe I want to know what he's saying. But I think I'm with my dog. I like yeah. I just kind of like our our relationship the way it is, where I don't know what you're saying. You know, it's like that works for me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, really, that's we, that's a different thing. We we jokingly when we first had the cat, we got the cat from the cat sanctuary, and it was called Freud. Right. And and Annette said, oh, <laughs> I don't want to call him Freud. That's a stupid name. Um, so uh, we've been watching then, um, so I probably spoke about this before, we've been watching the Ozzy Osbourne uh, U uh, U USA road trip, and a cat okay. was black, a very, a very princely. She so said, I'm going to call him Ozzy. So we, so we jokingly said, well, you know, he's Ozzy, he's the Prince of Darkness because he's a big seven and a half kilo male cat. Right. And he just, he is an absolute prince. And if he says anything, it's like, where's my food and why isn't it here quicker? And oh, you know, God. and why don't why don't you just why don't you just fuck off and sit somewhere else because you don't feed me, she does, and I'm going to give her all the attention. I'm nice. sure that's what the cat's thinking all the time. But do you, you really know? want to know that? Like, I mean, whether you, it's a cat I, I can't, I can't know it already. You know, it's, it's, okay. It, but but, but my point me. though is right. But my point is, if we have AI, like if you ever saw the movie Up, where the dog George has the collar when he speaks, he speaks like a human. Do you really want to be able to go to your dog or your cat or your, your hamster or your, I don't know, whatever, and go, good morning, so-and-so. And it's like, hi, how you doing? And have a dialogue with it. Is that just another thing in your life where you're like, ah, oh, I've got to talk to you? Well, or is I it, think people want, know, there's a lot of animal, animal uh, activists who say, yeah, we'd love to find out what they're saying because we would be, we, we would be appalled by how we treat them and how they feel treated. You know, like pigs in in these in these mega stalls. You know, right? Or, or, or yeah, we're, not know, them, <laughs> we're not going to talk to them. Chickens. We're not going to talk to the chickens or the pigs because we're eating them and cows. We're not talking to them. We're talking about, yeah, exactly. talking about household so, pets, yeah. right? You can't talk to them. <laughs> You'd never eat them. Oh. It's kind of like Adam not eating octopus or squid anymore because he saw a special, and they're highly intelligent. Uh, and but in the future, we them. will not be eating them anymore. There'll be no. synthetic. There's already synthetic meat and stuff like yes. which tastes like meat um, and stuff like this, and it's good. Stephen doesn't. Stephen doesn't like that. He likes the. Yeah, he's no. I eat the real stuff. If once there's no cows left, it will become, become the real animal. stuff. In the future, people will be saying, "Look, those guys were eating animals." Can you believe? I it? know. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, the animals will be saying the animals will be saying that. The but animals will be just, saying, "How could you have done yeah. that to us?" Yeah, or, or, the, to us. You know, yeah. you know, you know, my dog and probably the cat because they are not uh, actually created to eat uh, like um, uh, cooked meat or uh, those. Right. 
uh, uh, well, produced food that we give care. them, they were eating and, raw and meat. Dog. That's what they yeah. eat. And my dog, when uh, my girlfriend is or is c- cooking and she has a raw meat, she's there with her nose because I have this, this sh- 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 very sh- uh, powerful noses and smell. And they're yeah. like crazy. This is, you know, it's nature talking there. I say, give me, this is my food. This is right. my food, actually. I say, what the, yeah. what the hell they are cooking it? It's very taste like it is. <laughs> so I just, we were I just at the point then, eating this kind of meat at all. Yeah, I just wondered, and going forward, if 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 uh, we do crack uh, the ability to communicate with certain animals, that we'll probably they'll end up being super woke as well, won't they? You know, we'll have to be paying them and like we will have to endlessly feed them for nothing and and take them for the dogs for, for the dog shampoo as penance. For all the, the yeah. you know, all the centuries before we treated them so badly. So there you go. Well, uh, when it, when this happens, a lot of other things will happen simultaneously. This is the thing with the AI. Like right. uh, now, we often talk about this. Uh, Gates was saying that uh, forget about four day uh, labor and work. Mm-hmm. Three days, because AI will be producing food and uh, everything mm-hmm. that we actually need. Well, I say forget even three days. Because if the because by time it will be more and more used, right? right. This is very special yeah. technology, and it's really uh, for a benefit. We'll use it excessively. I mean, it's normal. So what we will do? Because at some point, a, a job and work that we have is giving us meaning. For example, art is giving meaning, and for reasons I have right. said before, it's giving me meaning. I mean, <laughs> when I wake up and I have a good idea, like I did today. And uh, I have it all the time. This is my problem, actually. And this is why I haven't made too much money. But I will make, you see, because I'm starting to get more. This is my flow. This is my path of living. Uh, uh, I'm, 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 I'm stuck more to my path because my path is very, very um, large, very right. wide. And I'm trying to narrow it more. Gotcha. So yeah. it becomes the path that actually is, is meant for me. And, uh, well, the thing, Adam, the thing is, we're on a time restraint today. Normally, we'd like to talk to you like for like forever. We're on a bit of a time yes, restraint today, and I know you sent me some art, and I'm sure that people that have tuned yeah. in live to watch, we got. And thank you, everybody yes. who's, who's watching the show live at the moment. It's uh, it's it's fantastic to have you all on board. Should, should we should we run some of Adam's art because that's one of oh, the reasons. Love that Adam's you're, art. You're, because apart from people who want to listen to your to your philosophy, they also love your art. So and this one well, there's my philosophy in fact. That, that is, is wait, and before we do that, everybody, yeah. we will be back on the 18th of December live with Adam. So and if you've missed any of the other shows, you can go Adam on the Eve in the playlist and all his stuff is there from his very first show with us to all these shows. So you can enjoy um, his philosophy and his art. So there you go. All right, yeah. let's see his art. So this is it, and this is what I think is called uh, metaphase. So here we go. That is very pretty. Yeah, yeah metaphase. You know, metaphase is a stage uh, during the process of the cell division. You know, so it's a, it's kind of uh, in, in inspired by 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 those by this notion. Hmm. So you can see it's it, it, it's what I was saying before that it's kind we are just kind of a bridge. You see, there was uh, an abstract forms at the beginning, and then they created those two heads that they I often do it that one is uh, in into the other so you don't right. see the faces because the face is the, the identity now I, I, I try to reveal the the visual uh, shapes how they translate into into the, philo- yeah. into the theory uh, I hide the faces sometimes uh, because I want to take away the identity the, the you or me right. the, the narrative of the self and uh, I just wonder, you, uh, Stephen if we could just move ourselves across on the screen and I'll run that again. 
Is that I can't. possible? I already tried. Oh. Yep. Okay. It's kind of the way, it's, it's it's the, okay. way the file it's, comes. It, for me, it's okay. I was thinking about it, but I said, because, you know, a lot of thinking are coming to my mind. I said, it's okay because the background is us. Right. So yeah. What I'm portraying yeah. then is, is us, actually. So it's good. Well, look, let me just run that again and uh, going back on, on a few things you've already touched upon. Very cool. That is very, very cool. You see the 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 the, 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 the trans transition from the abstract to the more um, uh, specific forms that uh, that are portrayed. I'm going to be, I'm going to be yes. a real philistine and say when I first looked at that, just because I haven't seen it, I don't look at your stuff when I load it. I I watch it live on the show along with the viewers. Um, it looked like it was it was toffee. And all of a sudden, the, the toffee sort of became these two figures, and then yeah. they parted again. So that was my very first impression was was toffee. Maybe because I like toffee or caramel. Maybe that's <laughs> yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> but, maybe but, but you see, maybe but you see how your mind is mind. trying to find meaning. So it's not. Right. Yeah, it, it's a good question. What? It, why? 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 Yeah, it's a very good question. Why does it have have meaning? Well. Because our mind, we are obeying our minds and our minds are nature. We can control it. Right. We need, look, something that's totally abstract, we don't understand, it's totally alien to us, is out of our system. It's becoming dangerous. Maybe it'll kill you. I don't know. Maybe it'll kill you. So we, we, that's why our mind is trying to understand what's going on. What is this? Is it dangerous? You know, those things are happening very, very fast in our mind. Oh, it's not dangerous. It, it's okay. It looks okay. But this is how my my dog is such a chick, uh, chicken shit. Uh, she's very uh, fearful. She, she's fear. Oh, okay. chicken, chicken, there's chicken, wind. Okay. Yeah. She, there's wind, and she's Whoa, what's going on? You know, <laughs> but but it's so crazy because she's not a very big dog, and there right. is a, um, one bigger dog of neighbors, uh, which is younger though. Uh, she she's um, the wolf dog. How how yes, you know, an Alsatian probably. Yes, Shepherd, 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 Shepherd. Shepherd. Yeah, Shepherd. Shepherd, okay. And just a very big dog, you know. And mine is so small. She's so angry at that dog. I don't know why. And the other is afraid. One day, we were going onto the beach, and the neighbor was in the sea with the dog. And the dog was in the sea. And my dog, because I, I unleash her, she's free to, to run, you know, right. freedom. And she goes immediately. I said, Where she's going? She said, immediately to the sea, to the other dog to bite her. I haven't seen oh, wow. it. I mean, what the hell is going on with her? What what stuck in her mind that this dog is like danger or something, or I don't like her? Th this would be oh. nice to have AI to, to talk she with her. And right. say, she what what like that's where AI what the, comes What in. the problem you have with yeah. this dog? Yeah. It yeah. never did anything to us. It never, yeah. why, why have, why, I would like to communicate because I communicate with, I would love to have a way yeah. of communication more deeper with, with them. I would mm -hmm. love to. I don't think they. Cool. We will find out that they think, "Oh, let me be, fuck off." Some there's no such things, I believe. Right. But there are feelings which you can see mm -hmm. that she's uh, a little uh, um, kind of angry uh, to you, or she loves you. This is a very common thing. Right. She she is dependent on you. She's uh, she because they are dog also. You know, they they want to protect you. Yep. So she she's doing all everything to protect me. I think. Even for my, my dog, anger, same, my know. dog is the same thing. She sees she yeah, sees a paper bag the and it, they, they and it startles the her. Thing. She's gonna yeah. kill the she's gonna kill the paper bag, and I'm like, relax, it's okay. You don't have to kill the paper bag. But yeah, she's very, she's she's part. But nature cow. is stronger, you know. She will yeah. do it always. Yeah, she's no, she's very protective of her family. And then when she goes to the dog park, there's certain dogs she'll play with, and there's other dogs where she's like, yeah, I'm good. It's yeah. this is this is making me emotional actually. That she she will, uh, I know that my dog will give her life for me. I know it. Yep, I, I agree. They, that's man. That's why they call it man. She will she will go into fight to death to protect mm -hmm. me. I know it. Yeah, they all will. 
I said data has cats. So what they're going to do is they're going to be like, no, no, I'm, I'm, by, de home. by, de by default, I have cats. I mean, I, okay. uh, but, but you know something, cats, I, I, I had a cat. It's not that I had, it was actually a wild cat uh, in right. Athens when I was living. And uh, she was only coming from the window because we had a, right. like a small uh, uh, yard in front of us, a uh, garden. And uh, like three times, she came for me with gifts. One, there was a bird. Wow. She came to me with a bird. I got crazy when I see coming from the window and she comes with a black bird. I said, what are you, yeah. what are you doing? She, she, she get afraid, let the, the bird go. I see blood, black blood, like speed, the, yeah. the, 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 the bird flew away. I said, what the hell? But then I, th I thought about it and she's uh, giving me food, like to say thanks. Yes. Yeah. But she was yeah. wild. She never came to me for caressing. But when oh. I went to sleep on the couch, she always came. That's the only moment that she was close to me and uh, let me touch her. When I was oh. sleeping, she came on my belly and we were sleeping right. together like this and I could caress her then. But other, otherwise, come, 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 never. Yeah. She never came close. Interesting. Yeah. Animals, yeah, well, are, animals are, are, strange, are a strange breed, so to speak. It's just yeah. they're fascinated by them all. Everything yeah. is strange. Even we are strange, all the whole life is strange, and the, yeah. well, you can't help by asking yeah. why. Yes, we can, but the universe is strange and we like it, so it's all good. Yeah. yeah. Well, gentlemen, it has been fun. Mr. Adam, it's always a pleasure. I know you're not Jewish, but yes. happy Hanukkah. It's coming up. We won't see you for three well, weeks. Well, I might be um, from my you know ancestor Jewish as well. I, that's right. what well, I was you are told. Jewish, so but, we'll be uh, celebrating Hanukkah. It starts on the seventh for everybody that's celebrating. Because my my this. this is my final. Thing. I will I will say this and we will finish that. that my okay. father told me that we were not called Martinakis. We okay. were called Matarozzi. This is Ooh. more Italian um, surname. And my father was coming from uh, uh, northern part of Greece, very close to. Uh, Today's Istanbul, which was called Constantinople, which was the Constantinople, Byzant sure. Yeah, it was the capital of, of Byzantine, and yeah. there were there were many Latins that came upon the time. And uh, I met a guy who's very drawn into into history, very very you know a lot of reading and stuff, right. very clever and s smart guy. And uh, I told him the story that Mataros was. Oh, this is a Jewish known Jewish family yeah. in Italy. Oh, so you got kicked out of Spain or Portugal in the 15, 1600s. When they Italy, like maybe, or then or Italy. Whatever. Yeah. Like Very everybody's cool. story. If we knew, yeah. I want I to mean, make yeah. a DNA test just for fun. I don't care. I don't have any, I'm not any racist or something like yeah. that. I believe we are children of this planet, of this universe. We are actually, my cool. theory is that I am you and you are me. You're so. Me, yeah. <laughs> There's well, no I spoke. I on... speak. I speak to God because being Jewish, we have a direct line, and his name is Marvin. He's a very nice guy, and he wants to say hello to everybody. So that was it. We'll interview him one yeah, day. Yeah, and, and you know, and yeah. talking about results, let's have a very quick spelling test at the end of the show today. Uh, Constantinople. Oh yes, I spelled November wrong. Sorry about that. Yeah. I was in a hurry yeah. to get Consta it. Constantinople. How do you spell it? The answer is I T. I T. <laughs> I don't get it. I. Gentlemen, it's a pleasure. Adam, is always a pleasure. We'll see everybody live on the 18th of December. Same time, same bat channel. David, always a pleasure. And everybody, don't forget to subscribe and like. Take us home, David.